Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a, uh, a short video, a short update. There's something I want to show you. Um, we uh, we recently, and by, by we I mean Wubi and I recently um, spent some time fixing the the things that we weren't entirely happy about with uh, the heist. Um, and so we released version 1.2 today, but there's actually uh, like another interesting thing that we uh, that we've done today. Um, we we added in-game translations to all the transcripts. Um, so like not the science and stuff, but say I were to go to this computer and I don't know read the research info, and I would switch my language to uh, to Deutsch. Deutschland, for instance. Let's see if we can do that. It's going to take a while to load, probably, but uh, come on. I believe there we go. Verti, fertig. This is slow, though. This changing of language, but I guess it does have to change a lot. Oh, really? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? That's dumb. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was worried for that there, for a sec there. But yeah, like uh, all the e all the emails and stuff were normally in English, but the way we've set it up now is that I don't know why I took a screenshot. The way we set it up now is that um, basically when you change the language, it will actually change like all the in-game uh, like all the in-game transcript files. Uh, so that's the emails. That's the uh, like the translations for the voice acting uh, that will all be added in game um, we didn't only add German we also added uh, Francais like French this is probably gonna take long we added from uh, we added French uh, we added Spanish and I actually added Dutch as well because why not um, but we have like a whole infra infrastructure right now where technically we could, we could add other languages as well and I don't know, I just think it's kind of a cool concept and I wanted to, to show it. So now everything should be in French. There we go. Um, I don't know, let's try it. Like, I haven't, I've tested them, but I just want to like go through them again. But it's a very neat concept. I think it's definitely something, A, a I need to go to the A, there we go. It's definitely something that, you know, other maps could benefit from as well. Uh, basically the... We're using the uh, language, the lang files, and uh, in combination with the slash tell raw, to yeah, but, but the same way you can change the name of you know furnace and that sort of stuff. We can also pull uh, pull text from the the lang file, which is kind of cool. Uh, so this email should be in Spanish now. There we go. And, I don't know, let's try Dutch as well. Netherlands. But it's just like, a, it's just a little cool thing. And I think like most people enjoy playing in English, but I'm pretty sure that there, there's, you know, Spanish people speaking people or French or German or Dutch, probably like young, younger or people, people that don't like, haven't mastered English. Uh, that would benefit from this sort of stuff in maps. Um, let, let's read the Dutch email as well. Let's not have the Dutch be left out. There we go. So uh, yeah, it's just a little update. We also updated, uh, like we, we fixed the UI a bit. Um, we um, there's a whole change log that I'll put in the description of the video. It's just it's just like a cool thing. Uh, we improved, we changed the ending, like we changed the ending, made it a bit more polished. And we polished the starting introduction where you get like introduced to the mechanics a bit. Um, but yeah, just a little video uh, to show that stuff like this is possible. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, download link for version 1.2 is in the uh, description. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.